Hello everyone, welcome back to another Backpack Battles run. So today I'm going to try to get to being a hundred times faster than my opponent. So to do that, I'm going to need 450 heat and 450 cold. So as you can see, we do have the frozen flame. So every five heat I gain, I'm going to inflict two cold. Um, I'm not necessarily going to be going for that. I mean, it'd be fun to, but... We'll just see how it goes. We'll play it by ear, right? Alright, immediately getting a pan. Um, hmm. I think a walrus tusk is good, and I'm questioning whether or not I take this lump of coal. Or if we just roll. Um. Because I could get a torch, right? But torch is kind of underwhelming. Not that it's bad. Mm, okay, I think I go like torch shovel, that's something. Okay, triple weapon. Sure, why not? And we can lock in that piggy bank because we're trying to greed up here. Okay, we're going up against um, pan, wooden sword, whetstone. Whetstone's not putting anything for it, so I do think we win this. Um, it's going to be close because these fruits are really strong. Ooh, we do win, but we did take some luck. Okay, if they pointed their whetstone at their weapons, like, that'd be a completely different story. We'd be dead. We'd be gone. Alright. So, this is a pretty cheap weapon setup here, right? We are getting, uh... Uh, yeah, we are, we are getting the damage from the torch, and the shovel is providing some support. So, hmm... We could go for a spiked shield here. I think that'd be really good to like just win the matches, right? But I really want some more space and economy. I think I'm supposed to just go for it, right? Yeah. I, I think I, I think I'm just supposed to do this and just get the spiked shield so I can actually win some matches. Okay, going up against a um, a reaper. Hopefully, my burning torch shovel will deal enough damage to chunk through them, but, um, our wooden buckler walrus tusk is not doing a whole lot here. Yeah, it came down to some luck at the end there, but, yeah. I'm way too surprised I lost. Okay. Well, that's some nice cheap economy right there. Let's grab. Um, I think I can roll without the box of riches right now. Okay, we get a chili pepper, which is really nice to have. And let's see, do I want to take this banana right now? I can also just buy this chili pepper right off the bat. Hmm. If I sell off, like, a bunch of flames and stuff, it's probably not bad to do that. But I think it's better just to hold on to my garbage right now. It also might be good to get that banana, but I didn't want to overcommit to stuff without, like, having the space for it, right? Okay, we're going to do very well against this Pyromancer here. They're going for, like, double sword, and, you know, we have a spike shield, so, yeah, we crush them. Okay, that is exactly the kind of thing I wanted. Um, space and a chili pepper. Perfect. So, we can put this chip amethyst into our burning torch because it attacks pretty fast. And you can just remove some buffs. Um, and I do think I want this piggy bank. The question is, do I sell off flames for it? I don't think I do. I think I just hold on to stuff for now. Mm. I do want more economy. Okay, wait. We can also maximize some max health like this. So, all right. I do want more economy, but I also want to win matches. We're into, like, you know, high silver, which isn't, like, the scariest of opponents, but I still don't want to get in the habit of underestimating them because actually not dying is a huge deal when it comes to, like, you know, trying to do silly stuff in the game. And having, like, the security that I'm not going to die instantly is a big deal. Okay. We get the fanny pack here. I think I like having the fanny pack on the fruit or on the foods right now. Uh, and yeah, definitely take a customer card. So, customer card is going to let us have a slightly higher chance to get rares, which is what we want. But, in the long run, it's not going to be too helpful for us, I suppose. Let's just go ahead and roll. We do get a Hungry Blade, which is a way to win games with the cold, right? 
we upgrade the Hunky Blade to the to the Frostbite, it does a lot, lot, lot of damage. But for right now, I think I'm going to have to pass on that. Okay. We can go like that. Which is going to allow us to see more health, more stuff for health. And we can put this topaz right there. Now is the question of, do I take a lump of coal? I think I should. Lump of coal will just... Be able to give us a lot of benefit. Okay, it looks like they are going for a burning sword build. I think they would have been cool if they upgraded that to a burning, like, long sword. It would be exciting. But oh, we do win, right? Because we have this spike shield and we just crush any build like that. It's just mostly focused on weapons. Okay. And yeah, we can speed up the, um, the veggies even further. I guess I'll just call them food. That's the accurate way to call them. Okay, let's roll here. We get a topaz, sure. Um, okay, roll again. We find a blood amulet. Blood amulet is good, right? Because we can get a vampiric armor, and that will let us get a lot of health over time, which is very, very nice. Okay, uh... And, yeah, we have a high chance for rares. We're really digging for rares, so let's, um... Let's sell some stuff we don't need. More space. And, yeah, we can sell a flame for a roll here. We find another chili pepper, which is excellent. Um, what do we sell for it? Or do we not sell anything? Just, like, roll like this. I think we just roll like this. Just send it. And next time around, we can take a chili pepper. Okay. Going up against uh, Tate Core Poran. Oh, yeah. It looks like we are winning pretty easily here. Uh, they are trying to light a torch, but yeah, they just got a lot of. Uh... Let's see, these are both ranged weapons, but still, they have two melee weapons here. And neither of them are all that strong, so. Ooh, we have the Shield of Valor. So, Shield of Valor, uh, pretty strong defensive weapon. Uh, not weapon, defensive item. That's on sale. Normally, I wouldn't be too excited for it, but it's on sale. So, maybe we just use this as, like, an upgrade to our spiked shield at the moment. Let's roll. We're looking for more space. Hey, there's some more space. There's also a leather armor. So, it's kind of like what we're looking for, right? Um... Kind of a tough question whether or not I take it right now. Hmm. Because as much as I would like it, um, we are kind of looking for more chilies, right? So I could see an argument that we're not supposed to really take that. We just, like, take a potion belt here and run past his leather armor. We're eventually going to grab, like, sun armor or something. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I'm supposed to go past it. It's kind of unfortunate. But let's take the space. Let's sell off the uh, the sapphire and just go. Um, and yeah, we are looking for... Yeah, there we go. Chili Goobert. Perfect. Exactly the kind of thing I was searching for, right? Okay. And here... I can go ahead and take the setup, move it over here, and this gives us a complete <laughs> setup to do everything I want. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, actually, we can also pick up this fanny pack and just keep speeding stuff up. And yeah, Chili Pepper Goober. Pretty happy with that. Um, I do see myself eventually selling off this Shield of Valor. It is kind of redundant for what I have going on, but I don't mind being defensive, especially with this Burning Torch. Uh, because this Burning Torch is just going to get keep, keep getting stronger and stronger, right? Unfortunately, we are getting some blind on us, and we don't really have a way to heal the blind. Or, or the poison, so I could see us losing here. 
But looks like we are getting ahead, and yeah, we are killing them. The Burning Torch is just doing way too much damage, right? This is doing 15.6 damage per second, yeah. Even though we were running out of that stamina, um, it just was not good enough. So, I mean, Burning Banners are a lot of fun. It's a lot of regen and healing, and, you know, you keys off of, uh, keys off of heat, right? But we're going for the Cryomancer build. We want to really slow things down. Okay, uh, let's solve the Ember. Oh, that we just bought. Don't need that. Okay. Um... Let's see. What do we sell? Probably sell a flame. Yeah, sell a flame. We can get some space here, which is really nice. Let's sell a sapphire and an amethyst. We get the space. And okay, let's go ahead and reorganize this to fit the chili goobert in. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I can actually see just taking out another garlic for a box of riches. Nah, I think I need the garlic. The garlic's actually really strong. Um, it's speeding up all my chili peppers, and it's providing me with armor, which scales off with a heat again. Uh, oh, we should have also put the garlic next to the sun shield. I, 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 nev I never really think of garlic as an armor-providing item, but, you know, it very literally is. Anyways, we are going up against this double axe. And this double axe is very stamina hungry. They're just not able to afford any of that stamina. They're just not really doing any damage. At least not enough compared to our sun shield, spike shield. They also have a hero sword here for some reason, and they just cannot um, not afford that. Right? Okay, well, we can get a holy armor here, but I think I'm still really looking for more Guberts. So, let's just roll. Okay, more speed. I mean, it's not a whole lot of speed because we are going to get a lot more off of the heat, right? We can take a piggy bank here. Let's solve the stone. We're going to look for more space. That is technically space. That's also a Goobert, but I think we're just going to get the Goobert here. Okay. Uh, we can also move out the two flames for a box of riches, and I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, let's just ru let's run it. Okay. We're gonna want some nice fast activators. The blueberries are nice for that. They just activate relatively often. Um, we're also gonna get a ton of mana for what that's worth. But, yeah. Okay, and I can also see ourselves getting rid of this shovel at this point. Um, it's kind of holding us back. Yeah. Okay, let's get rid of this shovel. There is a book of ice, which is a perfect way to use um, use all the mana we're getting from blueberries. So that's actually excellent. Okay. Gonna sell this off, take this Uber. And let's go ahead and roll. We're looking for some space. I mean, preferably not a stamina sack, right? We're looking for better, more cost-effective space. And we can definitely find it. But instead, we are finding a holy armor. So, I would really like to afford that, but that is very expensive. I mean, do we sell off the spike shields? And, uh... Topaz... Garlic flame. Like that. Move the food setup over yonder. Also, just put a chili goobert out, just casually. Hoo hoo. Um. Sure, we're gonna put that there so it just activates. And let's not stress out too much about optimizing our sun armor usage here. I mean, I guess I should stress out at least a little. Now we're going to cleanse poison a bit faster. It 
and okay. Let, let's just toss out. Let's just throw out as much stuff out as we can. And sure, we're getting some economy there. We're going to get a lot of heat. Hopefully, the heat and the Book of Ice are enough to sustain us. Okay, we're going up against Double Draconic Orb, but that's just going to get consumed by low damage burning torches, which means we're going to be pretty much fine here. Um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think we're just going to win it here. Okay. Yep, and, uh... While they have double burning torches, we only have one, so we scale our one burning torch harder instead of scaling two. And we also have an extra Goobert, and we also have the Sun Shield. Yeah, it's just not pretty for them. Okay, but here we get the Sun Armor. So now this will let us basically remove every single debuff we could ever hope for, which is really nice. Uh, we can also technically take Sapphires at this point. Sapphires will kind of give us synergy with the... Uh, with the Chili Peppers, something. All right, let's roll here. Let's roll again here. A Frostbolt and another Chili Goobert. Hmm. I think that's going to deal too much damage with the Book of Ice, so it's not really worth it. Oh, I also forgot to make this to a Chili Goobert. That's my bad. But yeah, we're really digging for space now. So there is some space. Perfect. Okay, uh, let's sell off these flames here. And just get more space. Is always good. Uh, yeah, put this here. Put this here. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. And yeah, let's just let's just pack this with economy. And I could probably worry a little bit more about economy, but eh, I think it's okay like this. I could also take that piggy bank, but again, I think I'm doing okay with um what I currently have going on here, right? And I also think it might be time to get rid of the burning torch soon. Um, and just like focus all in on the exponential scaling of it all. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, like having a single burning torch is just going to really help us, right? Um, actually win these matches. Because like, yeah, you see how much damage that burning torch is doing. 20.3 damage per second. It's like critting every single time. And yeah, they're at 42 cold. Ooh, that is like some painfully slow items. We get the 8.7 second fly Agaric. Yeesh. Okay. Well, you know, maybe I'm overestimating these opponents. They're not even pouring the potions at each other, but they are optimizing their flute pretty well, I suppose. Anyway. Let's get this rolling. Okay, we get yet another chili pepper. Very nice. Um, right, let's roll here. Blood amulet. Eh, no thanks. Okay, an on-sale Phoenix. It would have really helped me win, but I'm not really looking to win, right? Like, I want I want to do something more than just winning. So I actually want this glowing crown. Because, yeah, this is going to really help us... Uh, yeah, like, exploit our Guberts more. Okay. Hmm... Do we sell for blueberry? We do want a blueberry for the book of ice. In fact, we probably want more blueberries. Wait, we have two blueberries. So yeah, the two blueberries about keep up with the book of ice, which is nice. So yeah, that's perfect. Uh, let's take out the amethyst roll one more time. There's a frozen buckler. I do like the frozen buckler. We could sell off the sun shield and just take the frozen buckler instead save a little bit of space to hmm. uh i think i'm going to pass the frozen buckler it's just too expensive right and we're just gonna run it actually no let, let's reorganize first uh yeah i'm i uh i can definitely 
definitely hit more group ah, uh, but that's so much effort. It's not exponential yet. Or, I mean, it is exponential. It's been exponential the whole time, but it's not as silly as it could possibly get. Let's go one more round so I don't have to lose my mind over reorganizing this Goobert too many times. <laughs> okay. Ooh, my frozen flame is not pointing at my burning torch. Let's hope that's okay. Don't worry, that just means the fight's gonna last longer. We're gonna have more fun, right? That's what matters. But yeah, they're getting up to 24 cold. Oof. Okay, it looks like our cold and heat are actually managing to stay relatively even, which is really nice. Um, okay. And yeah, they are very, very slow. So we can take a look at how slow their double axe is. Every, uh, uh cooldown's like 4 seconds. Their warp sub is 4.3 seconds. Their Volper Tinger is 11.35 seconds. Alright. Feels really good to be dunking on these opponents here with a sheer amount of cold. Okay, but now it's time to lock in and actually optimize my pack. Uh, the Book of Ice is really, really good, so we're going to take it. So we are now a bit deficient on how much mana we're generating, but you know we can definitely catch up in another way. And yeah, it's about time to get rid of the Burning Torch. Right, you served a good run, but now we are looking to pivot from actually winning games to throwing for content, as the kids say. Alright, let's sell that to roll. Very interesting. Piggy Bank's probably worth it. Right, yeah. To get the Piggy Bank, I'd probably want to sell off two flames and a chip sapphire okay and let's go ahead and take the liberty of reorganizing this so it all looks much more sane Okay, uh, let's uh, solve this topaz and roll one more time because we want to maximize our rolls now. Oof, uh, there is a book of ice. I think that a third book of ice is just, hmm, it'd be cool, but, <laughs> cool, uh, but I don't think we have enough mana for that actually. Or is that the coward's way out? Am I being a coward? I think I'm being a coward and we can run it. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna look for probably like a mana orb to help us afford this very mana hungry build, actually. Okay. So, yep. Uh, ooh, they're actually managing to resist like all this cold here, which is pretty unfortunate and they're also stealing my heat with the squirrels all right that that's hard to beat the, them stealing the heat with the squirrels yeah yeah that, that's hard to deal with um they also weren't debuffing us so well, looks like that's how you counter this bolt build folks you to use the squirrels all right let's take the book of ice as i am not a coward uh roll here we get the on-sale mana orb, which is perfect. We get another chili pepper, also perfect. Uh, question is, what do we sell for that? Maybe the box of riches at this point? Okay. So, we have that. Let's sell all that off for a roll. We have a frost bolt, but we don't really want the frost bolt because it is doing too much damage. And also, the cold is temporary, so both of it's kind of like a... Kind of a bit sad, right? Okay. gonna be taking that and I think that'll be enough mana I hope so um, hmm. 
Okay, and how do I fit this in? Oh, jeez. Uh, we can we can do something like that. Uh, good enough. Let's run it. Oh, oh, wait. Let's also take this goober. We do want like every single goob, um, chili goober we can find because each of those are a big deal. Okay. Going against a uh, Chinese player. I believe that's Chinese, anyways. I, I'm not very I'm not cultured enough to know for sure. So we are starting to stack up our heat, although not super quickly, unfortunately. Um, hopefully this fight will go long enough that we can just keep on stacking. So, yeah, at the moment they are getting down to the absolute cold limit. Uh, yeah, they're at a cool 150. We are at 100. Yeah, well, they're getting more cold than heat, which is nice. And unfortunately, they are dying to the fatigue. Um, not really too surprising. Their shovel is extremely slow. Banana, glowing crown. Yeah, 26 second fly, Garrix. Okay. Let's take a over here. We're really looking for space now. Maybe we're desperate enough to just take this. Okay, fine. We also have a lot of extra money. Um, because we can start breaking our piggy banks here. We've been able to break our piggy banks the whole time. Just now it's a bit more advisable, right? So, okay, let's t solve the piggy bank for this. Um, do I want the leather armor? I don't think I do. Okay, that's perfect. We do just want a big source of space. Uh, okay, let's sell off you. Um, you and you. Let's get more space. Sell off the last flame. Roll one more time. Get another piggy bank. Uh, but we have been selling them. So, okay. Let's just go ahead and reorganize this to try and better fit everything in. We can run it like this. And we can take a look at how much heat we will be generating here. So hopefully this will be enough. We're keeping our heat and cold relatively even. That's good. Um, and yeah, it looks like they were out of stamina and not really dealing any damage. So we're going to be completely fine this battle. Uh, all right. And now we are rising up pretty exponentially here. We're going to want more and more heat. That's our main bottleneck here. Uh, this is eating up a good chunk of heat. It gives us a lot of survivability, but also eats up a lot of our heat. But I suppose it's not a too big of a deal as long as our heat and cold are like, about even because we are looking to get to hopefully 450 of both. Oof. Okay. Uh, pretty close. Pretty close. We're up to about 300 heat, 300 cold. Uh, looks like we were running out of mana for a mana orb, so we had to place this mana orb down a bit more strategically to actually get that all online. Uh, yeah, we can take a look at how slow these things are. Every 30 seconds they activate. Okay, we're getting pretty close to having, uh, having a, a hundred times faster than our opponent. <laughs> Okay, let's take that for space. We want more mana, right? I guess that's what we're really digging. We're digging for more mana. We're digging for more heat generation. Um, at, a, at a point, I might get rid of the sun armor or the sun shield. Uh, the sun shield probably goes first. Because the sun armor is really important to not die right away. Okay. We're going to roll here. Roll again. Roll again. Okay, there is a ice armor. Very expensive, very slow, but we can definitely take this mana orb. So now we don't really have any mana worries anymore, I think. That should just basically be covered, right? Like any mana troubles we used to have should be completely thrown out the window. Okay. 
Uh, let's try sending this. Hopefully, we can find some more chili peppers as well. Okay, going up against a heat build, which is uh, really nice. Hopefully, they can't really resist our heat. It looks like they're managing to like do a good chunk of damage here, but thanks to our sun armor, we stay alive. Um, and yeah, they're only getting slower and slower over time. And, yep, it looks like we have managed to escape their damage output. And we should just keep outscaling them indefinitely. Okay. So we're getting up to 200 here. They are basically doing nothing. It's very funny to see. And, oof. Okay. 283 heat. These things are going super fast, like half second activations. Uh oh, our sun armor is very unoptimized on this chili goober. I mean, I guess it's not that big of a deal because it's like one out of the 16 chili goober stars I have. But yeah, definitely want that to be better. And okay. We can take, um, yeah, we, we can take another blueberry here to speed up our chili goober a little bit. I'm tempted by this gin lamp, but that'll just kill the opponents with spikes. However, because we are doing, like, so much cold, the spikes are actually less of a big deal. So maybe we can get away with this. Um, and where do I put this item? I guess, like, here, maybe? Maybe that's fine. Maybe that's something. Huh. Okay. Do I break into these piggy banks to roll? I think I do. At least one of them. To get two more rolls here. Do I sell off the sun shield? Okay, I think I sell off the sun shield because I want this mana orb here. Okay. And yeah, let's let's get this mana going. Okay, wait, and this is a very, very fast activator, so I see myself putting it right here in the dead center, such that um all the chili goobers can see it. And then I definitely want these to be like double goober. Uh this is going to be a double goober activator, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. All 16 stars occupied by pretty fast things. Um, I guess the only thing is that, like... Ah, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, these can only see one of them. So. Okay. Yep, we have 55 poison off the rip, but we aren't really too worried about that. Hopefully we can survive this initial onslaught. Nah. Okay, I, I was coping maybe a little bit too hard. The Dark Saber is a lot of front-loaded damage, and we are just a bit too slow. If we got the in invincibility, maybe we could have gotten over the line there, but yeah, not quite. Not quite. Uh, we have one more chance, one more shot. Do not let your chance to, to go. This opportunity comes one from the lifetime. Okay. Uh, I don't know, an on-sale Wilper Tinger? Whatever. Dagger, don't need that. I definitely need, um... We definitely need all the blueberries we can be getting here, because that can activate our crowns at the very least. Another Chili Goober, it's exactly the kind of thing that I'm looking for. Okay, we're gonna roll again here. We're gonna take an on-sale speed item, I guess. We're gonna solve this Vulper Digger as well. Okay, that is something, I suppose. Uh, we can put this here to act as a bit more speed. Uh, glowing crown is nice, but I think we just... Oh, we should have sold this off, but uh, there's no reason to buy anything with it now. Okay, we're just going to speed up our two core items here. Let's not worry about it too much other than that. And let's run it. So, okay, looks like they were doing a lot of front-loaded damage here. Hopefully, we can slow them down enough to survive and get the legendary maximum health build going. 
Yep, we have the invincibility, so we go back up to full health. We're gonna get another invincibility here right after that wears off. And with that, we have sufficiently escaped them. And now we will get um, yep, tons and tons of heat and cold on them. The cold actually is kind of a bad thing because I want them to be as cold as possible. Uh, I want them to kind of like activate their items to get their healing. But fortunately, um, it looks like we might actually get there because we're already at like 250 heat. We just need like uh, we just need like a hundred more heat, and then we're there. Looks like we're gonna be getting there the hundred times faster than the opponent, and there we have it. We are officially activating everything a hundred times faster relative to our opponent. Okay, that is that is very very nice. So we can look. Everything here, whatever the base speed is, it's 10 times faster. So every 0.2 seconds, every 0.3 seconds, we have a piggy bank doing nothing 10 times faster. Okay, and then we can check out our opponent's stuff. You know, 2.2 second cooldown. <laughs> uh, it's extremely painfully slow. And we can, like, look at the logs here. They basically do nothing other than take... Uh, deal damage with fatigue and then regenerate off for their two regen. <laughs> Alright, I wonder what their last action was actually. Okay. <laughs> yeah, these logs are a nightmare. Okay, let, let's go ahead and see. Yeah, their obsidian dragon is still going up in damage. They have a bit of fatigue there. Okay, wait, let's look at... Can we, like, just look at just the opponent? No, we can't. Oh, they did uh, a single hit with the Burning Blade. Okay. And then an entire second later, they did the Obsidian Nest. They just have these entire walls of just random garbage happening on my end. Alright, and we can take a look at, um... Take a look at our healing... Yep, 1,325 from the Sun Armor. So the Sun Armor was absolutely essential to make sure we didn't die against a faster build like this. Overheal, as you might expect, was most like mostly done. Uh, 70 Armor, yep, yeah, not really that much luck. So each of our Blueberries generated about 35-ish luck. Okay. We got no regen, no vampirism. 23 spikes, yeah. Fortunately, the spikes will not doing a whole lot of damage. We look at the damage dealt. Yeah, only 53 damage from spikes, thanks to us slowing down our opponent, which makes the gin lamp a much more viable item into this. Okay, cold, 232 from the frozen flame, and 150 from each book of ice. And heat, yeah, about 100 per chili goobert, and about 30 per chili pepper. All right, well... I hope you all enjoyed watching. Um, definitely nice to see this get to the absolute logical limits. And just seeing everything here, just not activate, just seeing this like constantly popping off. It's, it's great. Um, I hope you liked the video, and I hope to be making more videos like this. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. I cannot fathom that, right? Uh, it'd be very... Fitting, I think, if this video got me to a thousand subscribers, because I started off with like you know this heat build, and now we got the heat cold build, like going all the way to the max, and I think that'd be a really, really nice way to get there. Um, I'm hoping to have some cool stuff for you all on a thousand subscribers. I have a plan for a video, but uh, um, thousand subscribers is happening faster than I expected, so. Uh, you know, we're probably going to have a delayed 1,000 subscriber special. But, yeah, hope you all enjoyed watching. I will see you in the next episode.